Tell me, Irma, what is in your vessel? What will this world inherit after I take my last breath? Freedom. Salutations viewers and welcome back to my video gaming channel. My name is Gene and today you guys are here with me for the 21st episode of Let's Play Moonscars. In the previous episode we have finally reached the castle apex for good. We were able to do some exploration, talk to a lot of the NPCs again including Adelinka which turns out to be kind of like our sister I guess. It turns out that Vladislava was Red Irma all along and Red Irma I guess is like the parent flesh of Grey Irma and Grey Irma our protagonist was like a, a freaking doppelganger all along without knowing this or something like that. Anyway we know by now that this game is confusing as hell so we're gonna continue. One of the good news is that Edelag survived, we got an achievement for that, which is called Treat the Cat, so we were able to find all the milk for the little fella, and in return, he's alive, he helped us out by scratching Red Irma a little bit, he even says. Anywho, we have 28,000 bone powder, so I think we should learn some more witchery. Um, I don't know what's gonna be useful in the upcoming boss fights, but I can tell you this. The enemies, the current enemies we're fucking fighting against now, they're tough. I guess it's because of the ravenous moon. Like, they're really tough, these enemies. They're, they're no joke anymore. This is not grinding anymore. This isn't farming of, of bone powder. We have straight up a challenge on our hands right now, even in the form of regular Claiborne. I'm not even mentioning bosses. Anywho, um, so I have 28,000, like I've said. I don't know what exactly I should invest into. I guess I can invest into Spike, like let's finish this whole thing, then we have Corrosive Touch, boom, so we, like, you know, we unlocked a lot of witcheries i still hope dearly that that thing at the at the top can be unlocked i don't know what it is but that topmost witchery tab spell on on top of that witchery tree looks like a separate spell right so um let's choose the parasite all right that's all i can you know that's all i can invest into we still have like one two i guess like three four five six i think we have like six separate spells that we haven't unlocked yet so i guess we need a lot of bone powder for that should i invest into the oh wait the clay right i'll invest in that into that later let's talk to edelag he's still alive right so he purrs oh you brought me some milk master zorin it smells delicious meow I realized just now, I don't regret what you did to my insides. You wished well, my stupid Zorin. The Grey Kitten, she was nice to me. All the time you were away, the Grey Kitten fed me with milk. She reduced the cleaving pains, if only a bit. Besides, she amused me. You humans, so amusing. Alright, so this guy, like, snores. So. He's alive. Okay, that's great. He snores. He's alive. He's not dead. And I'm really proud of that. Let's talk to Ion. What does he say? I need to hide so bad, yet no place can grant me shelter. Why can't something in this flesh stand still for a moment? It writhes all the time. The celestial mistress comes for her harvest. I can feel this too. She wants us to to be her vessels for hatred and morbid love. But what if I have nothing to carry? Nothing, absolutely nothing. My I-Core gland is forever hollow. It's like I don't belong here, Grey Irma. As a Clayborn, I was born by a man without a woman's participation. If the moon is a great mother, I am certainly not her spawn. Peculiar, maybe. Maybe to become free, we just need to lose everything we carry. Depths of this loss ion may conceal a tiny spark. I don't have a name for this yet, but somehow it eases my plight. I wish I can find it too. Alright, so more philosophy right there. 
Um, I think I should talk with Adelinka, right? Because I have enough... Actually, how much... How much earrings do I have? I have 26, right? Lady Irma, I wish I was as persistent as you. Excellent job. But you know, these earrings seem more like shards, sharp as razors. Ah! I guess she cut herself or something? Alright, so we have the second class of the Icor generation. Uh, this time I need 44 earrings, Lady Irma. I cut my finger last time we played with those jewels. It doesn't stop hurting. Wow. I never knew clay could hurt, but you know, unlike flesh. Uh, so let's equip. Um, right, we have the Icor Regeneration 2 now. So that's good. Hopefully it's gonna regenerate faster. Because uh, I was noticing how that other, the previous gemstone wasn't that fast when it came to, you know. Let's, let's see this right now, actually. Oh, it's corrupted. God damn it, I corrupted my shit. Okay, gotta kill these guys. Uh, it seems to, like, if you look at the little I-Core tab, it seems to, I mean the bar, it seems to regenerate a bit faster, but not, you know, it's, it doesn't feel significant. Alright, so let's go, I think we gotta go back to the, to the east, to the right. Thousand Bone Powder, this guy is not gilded, and thus wise he was easy to kill. Neither is this guy. They're not armored. They don't have any armor and... Therefore, it's not really an issue when it comes to killing them. Okay, this guy is though. Ah oh, man, I just... Missed both of the enemies completely. So the easiest thing you can do is just use the, the, the chain boulder to kill these ironclad, I mean not ironclad, but gilded uh, slasher guys. Okay, this leads up. This leads up. There's two gilded guys here, I think they are gilded. Here, you bastards. Oh, crap! Okay, one is out for good. They should have named her not Irma, not Grey Irma, but Irma, the Annihilator of the Clay Mutants. This thing is kind of like a homing missile. You don't even need to aim it. You just activate it and then it shoots that boulder shit right at your enemy. So that's a very uh, useful thing to have, I assume. In certain, you know, in certain scenarios. Right, we're going up yet again. Yeah, this guy, I don't think he's gilded. They look a bit different. If you pay close attention to the, to the color, these are a bit different in color. Okay, this guy is is uh, gilded. God damn it! Just heal up. Okay, one more, I guess. Exquisite earring. All right, more spite. Good for us. Cruelty. Okay, what's this? This is thousand bone powder. Okay, 
These guys don't annoy me as much because I don't think I have yet encountered a gilded angel. So they're easier to kill, right? They don't s soak up damage. They don't absorb damage like, like crazy. All right, there's the moon chapel. The moon chapel. What do we? What do you do here? Yeah, this seems completely empty. Is it not? All right, and from here we can just go all the way down. Map has been updated again. So if I'm not mistaken, this part you can meet Yidwiga and the homie uh, Yurema here, but hmm, I don't see anybody here, so. I see the doppelganger. Kindest Irma. What do you need? Looking for a swift peril? Please, I mean no harm. I remember your kindness. In those caves, I was granted freedom. A gift unthinkable. I enjoyed it greatly, yet for a short time. Soon, I grew restless. I feel I am obliged. Free beings choose their depths to pay, so I chose mine. What are you getting at? I will aid you in your battle, even if it is my last. But knowing, choosing the moment of your death is the privilege of the free. I bid you farewell till then. And thank you while I have the time. Where we will meet has no room for words of comfort. So she's going to assist us in battle, and we have an achievement called Aid from Yourself. Alright, that's nice. So by showing mercy, we have actually made an ally. The point of no return. The cruel night will start after Grey Irma reaches the top. There will be no return from it. Okay, so this is going to be the last boss battle, but I don't think we are yet prepared for that. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can actually do before fighting against the boss. Alright, so apparently I was just checking out, you know, the reference map. And since I don't have the hag's eyes, because I gave them away to that old bitch, I should have given them to Yudwiga instead. I guess this kind of a subtask just never comes into fruition, so... At this point, I guess all we have to do is we just have to, you know, prepare for the for the battle at the top of the castle apex, because uh, we're certainly not gonna be able to to do the Yudwiga quest, which is kind of a, a bit of a buzzkill. But what are you gonna do? Right. So let's choose the healing trans bone stone, because I use that shit all the time. And we have to prepare. We got to prepare for, for the boss battle ahead. Let's activate this. Now, the question is, should I use... Should I choose the seismic explosion? I kind of like it, right? So, let's... Let's equip... Let's equip maybe the doppelganger. And we're gonna equip the seismic explosion. Which is over here. All right, I don't know how difficult this is going to be, but I assume it's going to be quite difficult. We have Red Irma over here. Mm -hmm. You're here now. Good. Where is the sculptor? Too late, Clayhead. The moon has claimed the apex, forced him into hiding. And I, I pledged my allegiance to her. I won't let the sculptor have the vessel. I'll just take it away from you. Indeed, grand things hide in plain sight. The integral vessel is you. I knew it from the start. Knew it from the start? How? Mm -hmm. From Zorin, of course. Integral, pristine, whatever. You were the only one whose gland did not cleave in the kiln. He believed the vessel was one of the squad Claiborns. He just didn't know who exactly had the gift. 
There was only one way to find out, and since you were all tough, I had to turn you against each other, with your glands bursting in malice. And that's it. This simple. Soon, you did break down, like a treasured bowl, slipped away onto stones, glued with despair and anger which came after. And that is why you cleft me. I was the thing he needed. You don't think I just followed my envy, did you? I joined the Pristines not for the sake of communion or another of Zorn's delusions. I did it to destroy the scum that ruined the world around me, my world. And dead ranks of scum is where you belong, sister, even if you're a less common pest. <laughs> no last words, Clayhead? I get it now. Our cleavings. We Clayborns bear it for a good reason. We inherited it from you from humans, but unlike you, we are brave enough to traverse the path of ruin. The price worth your free will, I guess. <laughs> enough talk, time to break you for good. Okay, so the moon is rising. Okay, let's summon. Let's summon uh, a doppelganger. Oh shit! Okay, heal up, heal up. Okay, I think that's just the the first part. I won't let you win now. You. Hideous thief, I will rip what's mine from your body. So, I, yeah, that was just the first, that was just the first phase, obviously. Right, let's heal, 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 heal again. Okay, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Ooh, that was a massive explosion right there. Oh, did I just defeat her? Cleft Moon? <laughs> oh, that was... That was kind of simple. That was kind of fast and simple. Red Irma. Seems your fangs grew sharper, Clayhead. Poor timing. To share compliments, human. Human. I may be the last living human to see the skies. <laughs> Tell me, Irma, what is in your vessel? What will this world inherit after I take my last breath? Freedom. It's empty. I am to fill it the way I wish, and there is no room for you. Ha! <laughs> so bloody simple. God damn it, so we have 48,000 of bone powder. We picked up a gland, moon hunger has been alleviated, and we have Ion standing here. Let's talk to him. I thought that I've seen all sorts of dreams. I was wrong. Only now I've seen everything. I've seen love turn into envy, freedom blooming in death, parent destined to forever lose to her child. Weirdly, it felt so familiar, as if once I've been there. No, Ion. Don't go astray again. Keep looking for yourself. Oh. It's like I am just a distorted mirror, bound to reflect effigies and fake things. I am so tired of this Irma. The father returned to the workshop, Ion. You have to face him now. Right, so we spoke with Ion. He's gone. And I guess we're going to talk to Zorin too now. 
The first one just simply nods while again grunting in this kind of, uh, I guess, this kind of like um, constipated discomfort. I need to see him. Come to the workshop, my girl. We have so many things to talk about. Right, so I'm gonna spoil it for you guys. I'm gonna spoil it. This was not the last battle. This is not, in fact, the last battle. The last battle is gonna be against bitch ass Zorin, right? But I have a question. If the moon has been alleviated and there's no moon, what is that thing that's actually shining? Is that like the sun or something? Anyway, I don't know if there's anything here for us to take. I believe not. I think, I think there's nothing. Just these guys, there's no music, no nothing anymore. Actually, yeah, there is. The music has returned. I barely hear it, but I hear that shit, regardless. Okay, so these spells that I'm using right now, they're not very good against this particular foe. Let's just summon the doppelganger. Let her fight against him. He's out. Out for good. <sighs> okay, this was a... I don't even know how to, how to properly describe this battle. I wouldn't really even call it difficult. It was just fucking fast. Everything happened so quickly. I kind of thought that the moon has like a third aspect. Not two, but like three aspects. So I was kind of already expecting, you know, for the third part of the battle but anywho I guess it's all good that did not occur and what we're gonna do I just don't know what else to do we're just gonna go back to the mold workshop that's what we're gonna do we're gonna invest our last points I assume uh, there's obviously a cutscene Agitated gargoyle, what are you waiting for? Go, go, ahead to the workshop's very bottom, to the mirror hall, you priceless idiot. You got weirdly excited. I can't wait to become one, to become we, to become many. Our loneliness is about to end. Walls that separate us will crumble. Stop, don't ask again, just go, go. Okay, so we're gonna invest the bone powder into more shit. Because I really want to see if I can... By unlocking all of this, I want to see if I'm gonna unlock that last thing, right? And if need be, if I don't have enough bone powder, I'm gonna, I'm gonna farm for some more. And I'm most likely gonna need more of it, right? Because I only have 3k now, 3,000 3, bone powder. But there's still things that need to be unlocked, and that is Corpse Reassembly 2 and 3, and Corpse Explosion, rank 3. I think these are the only things that remain. And once we have uncovered these, I mean unlocked, we'll see if this is gonna be enough, right? So, in fact, we need, we need 20,000 we need 20,000, 25, so we need 45,000 plus 14, we need like 59,000 bone powder, right? If we can find enough bone powder, we're gonna be able to unlock that final thing. So, I don't know what would be the best area to, to farm this at, but um, anyway, I think that that's gonna be in the next episode. I just want to see for fun if this is actually possible. Uh, I'm most likely going to skip the actual process of... Um, I'm going to skip the actual process of me farming for that bone powder. What I'm going to do instead, I'm just going to... Once I have it, I'm going to unlock all of the remaining witcheries and then we're going to see. But that's going to be in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hit the like button if you found this episode to be helpful or fun. Hit the dislike button if you found it to be useless or really boring be sure to subscribe to my channel like always by hitting the subscribe button you're gonna be supporting me tremendously that way um 
I will see you soon in the next and possibly final episode guys. Until then, take care and stay safe.